Alright guys, my name is Hafo, and today we have a tutorial on After Effects. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't posted much over the few last few weeks. It's nearly the summer holidays now in England, so I will be posting hopefully a lot more. Um, and I've got quite a lot of tutorials lined up. I've got the obviously the text one that I promised a while ago. I just haven't got around to doing that because it's quite a long tutorial. And I can now upload over 15 minutes, which is brilliant. So, yeah, that means I can do more tutorials without having to worry of splitting it into parts. And the one I'm doing now is what you'll have seen in the preview, where it shows uh, these little blocks of, like, the screen glitching going across the screen. It's quite a common uh, effect used in editing. So, yeah, as you can see, there it is. That's a great example of it. You can see it all across the screen. And it looks pretty good, I'm not going to lie. So, let's get started. I have twixted this clip here, so you can see. Um, so, we're going to do it over the Twixter. So, I'm just going to delete the one that I've got there now. Just so uh, I can re-add it. Just to show you. So, you go, effects, Digifx Damage V2. Uh, you can get this. You can either buy this effect, or you can, uh, you know, get it off the internet. But Yeah, I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Artifact, um, we're gonna go our uh, operation type to normal. No, not normal, sorry. Shifter, and as you will see, that just like completely messes it up. It looks a bit ugly because I think, in my opinion, that's too much. Um, so we're gonna go our Kodak ar codec artifacting. Uh, click all these little stopwatches just to keyframe them all. And I change it mine to 10, 5, 10, 5. I think that's a nice amount, and as you will see, you get. Not too much of it, but it kind of shows up every so often. It looks pretty nice. Then we're going to go to the end of our Twixter, which is there. And we're just going to turn these all to zero. Um, Like that. And if you don't like what you've got, you think, oh no, that's a bit, there's too many, or there's not enough. Um, what you can do is you can change the random seed. Uh, and that randomizes, obviously, when it shows up and how many. I think that one's quite nice. Uh, so yeah, if you want it a bit different, if you want a few more, um, obviously coming up on the screen, I suggest these settings, 10, 16, 10, and 10, that's what loads of people use, that's what I've seen on other tutorials, I wanted mine to be a bit different, um, and hopefully, yeah, that, obviously, as you can see, there's a few more there, and what mine does is it, as it, as it gets further into the Twixter, it kind of slows down, there's less on the screen, and then eventually stops, obviously, and then take the shot. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If you would like to see some more tutorials on the other DigiFX damage plugins, so like, there's uh, interference here. I'll just quickly show you that. Um, I'll get rid of that. So if you just uh, go back over this. As you can see, loads of people use these on edits where, like, I don't know, you can, you can make the screen, like, go into all these uh, damaged effects, which it, they used all the time. And, yeah, they are quite nice. I can do some tutorials on that for you guys. So, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like. Uh, it really helps me a lot. And if you want to leave a comment, tell me what you want next. Also, another one that I might do is this, where the you take the shot, and as you can see, this, like, flies out. It, like, the lens, and it blares up the side of the screen. I think that one looks pretty awesome. So, uh yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, and as I say, if you have, please leave a like. Also, I'm doing a, t a podcast tonight with the Subpar Gaming guys, uh, which they talk about the community and all sorts of gaming news and whatever, which should be quite interesting. So if you're interested in watching that, just I'll leave their channel link in the description. Um, yeah, so that'll be all. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.